Today I'm going to show you how to draw this cute jack-o-lantern with coloring pencils. This is an easy beginner drawing lesson for kids of all ages, so let's draw. <music> Hi everyone! Welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. My name is Rain. In this series, Halloween Party, we draw and paint and create everything that has to do with this spooky season of Halloween. So let's begin. This is what you'll need for today's drawing. You're going to need a piece of paper. I have my dollar store drawing pad here. It's 9 inches by 12 across. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, and I have my brush as usual to brush off eraser bits and dust from my page. Now for color, we're going to use orange and yellow and just a tiny little bit of green for the stem. I also have a black Sharpie that I'm gonna to use to color in the eyes. And as usual, I have my black fine liner marker here that I use to outline. So that's optional but I think outlining looks really nice. So why don't we begin? I'm just gonna dust off my page and let's draw our jack-o'-lantern for Halloween, which is very soon. <laughs> so let's start from the top. Our jack-o'-lantern is gonna be a thin one today, not, not a, a short, fat guy. He's gonna be a thin guy today. And then we go around this side like this. All right, and we'll draw the stem. Nothing fancy, just a little stem on top like that. And why don't we draw the eyes right away? I want big, 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 big eyes. All right, big, 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 big eyes. Just like that. And we're going to draw, you know what? We'll stop there and we'll draw some details in after. The only thing I want to do is watch what I'm going to do. I'm putting in a little bit of a line on the sides of each of his eyes. And that's all we're going to do for now. We're going to add our color first. Let's start with our orange. No, let's start with our yellow color actually. Watch what I do here. I'm going to be combining yellow and orange because I, I want it to look sort of not just pure orange. So I'm going around the sides here with a little bit of yellow. And if you're using a coloring pencil, don't forget to turn it once in a while so it doesn't wear down all on one side. And you don't have to press down hard at all because look what I'm doing. I'm coloring in that same spot a second time. That's called adding a second layer of color. Right? It's a two, two layers means you color it twice. And I'm going to do the same thing, kind of making stripes. I'm trying not to get any into the eyes. Making little stripes of yellow. And I'm going to color that in a second time. All right. I'll do one coming down this way and you can make your stripes as large or as small as you want, as thin. This is your drawing. So you do it the way you want to. You can make him completely yellow if you want. <laughs> All right, now we're going to do the same thing that we did there, just around the edges. I have to go this way because I'm in a bad spot here. My desk is completely full, so I don't have much room for drawing. That's why I said I'm in a bad spot. I can't really move my arm too much. <laughs> so I'm going to give that a second layer. Don't forget to turn your pencil. Adding a second layer means coloring it in a second time. And if you wanted to, you could add three layers. That's all up to you. So why don't we take our orange color and we're gonna color in between the yellow. Turning our pencil once in a while. And we're gonna give this one two layers as well. 
But first I'm going to start with coloring in all of my orange areas with one layer. And then I'll come back and do the second layer. Now, you remember that little spot there? That's going to be orange, so we can actually color that in orange right now. Okay, just not this area. But if you get orange in there, it's not a big deal because we're going to be coloring that in black. And black is dark enough to cover the orange, okay? So don't worry too much about that. Just try not to get any into the yellow. And don't forget to turn your pencil. I love jack-o'-lanterns. I think they're so cool. I always carve some every year for Halloween. They just look so neat when you've got the candle inside. And I love the way they smell, actually. <laughs> it's like they're, it's cooking the pumpkin almost, you know, when you're when you put the candle on. Oh yeah, don't forget that area in the eye here. That's going to be orange. So we can color that in right away. Do you guys go out trick-or-treating? Or do you go to Halloween parties? Okay, I am going to color in a second layer of my orange. And I'm turning my pencil and I'm not pressing down hard at all because I don't have to. Turning my pencil. And I'm gonna try not to get any into the yellow for now. You see the difference between one layer and two layers? You can really, really see the difference. That's why I said you don't have to worry about pressing down hard and I say this every time. On, on all of my videos because when I first learned how to draw with coloring pencils I was pressing down so hard to try to get dark colors and vibrant colors and you just you don't have to you really really don't have to and I learned that and ever since then I've been trying to teach people that too because when you press down hard, you can break your pencil. You have to re-sharpen it and you don't have it for as long if you have to keep sharpening it. You could ruin your page. You can make your hand tired. There are lots of reasons why you don't want to press down too hard. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yellow again and I'm going to actually go over the entire thing with a third layer of yellow, but over the, the orange as well. That just kind of blends everything in nicely, you know? Don't forget to turn your pencil. Kind of makes it a, a yellowy orange type of color. This is a fun little drawing today. When I was a kid, I used to go trick or treating, but as an adult, I don't. I still like to eat chocolate and candy though. <laughs> my excuse. Oh, it's Halloween. I get to, I get to eat lots of candy. <laughs> okay. How are you guys doing? Now I've got my orange again and I'm very, I'm putting on a very light, very light layer of orange all over that yellow. Okay. Very light because I want to see my yellow. I don't want to hide the yellow. Very, very light, light, light layer. You see? And I'm kind of going over the whole thing. I don't, I don't even remember how many layers we did. <laughs> Maybe this might be the fourth layer. We did one layer of yellow, 
two layers of yellow, one layer of orange, two layers of orange, then a whole layer of yellow, now a whole layer of orange. Lots and lots of layers. Oh, my dog's awake. He's coming over to see me. <laughs> there we go. Very light layer of orange. Yeah. I think that looks pretty nice. So now let's grab our green and we're just going to put two layers of green into the stem. Now that you know what I mean, I can tell you that. I don't have to say, let's color it in once, let's color it in twice. I just have to say two layers and you know exactly what that means. <laughs> there, those are my two layers. Now I'm gonna take my fine liner and I'm gonna outline everything, okay? And I'm gonna add some details. So, outlining the stem and the whole pumpkin. Now that's optional, but I am a big fan of outlining. I think it makes it look really, really nice and sharp, you know? You could always outline with a black coloring pencil if you don't have a, a marker. I think a lot of people have markers, so. I'm gonna outline the eyes. My dog is snoring now. He falls asleep so fast. I don't know how he does it. I wish I could fall asleep that fast. <laughs> he was right beside me a second ago. Now he's snoring and asleep. There we go. Now before we add some details, I'm gonna grab my black Sharpie and I'm gonna color in the eyes completely. The white area, it's all black. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and do that. I'll do it on this side too. That whole white area, just make that black. Okay. Now what we're going to do is give him some nostrils. <laughs> Two little nostrils. One here and one there. That's a little funny looking there. I'll try to make it more round. There. Now for his mouth, we'll give him a big smile. And we're gonna put some lines across. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do is use my fine liner because I don't want thick lines here. I'm going to draw a few lines coming down the pumpkin, sort of on the edge of where we put that yellow color. Just watch what I do here. Oh, my dog's coughing. You see what I mean there? And one here. I'm not going to get that into the eye though. I'm going to go around the eye. Okay. And on the inside of the yellow here, same thing, just some lines. Oh, my poor dog. There we go. And that, my friends, is our jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> now I'm gonna sign my work. Don't forget to sign your work. I want you to be proud of the beautiful work of art that you just created. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, my friends. It was a lot of fun. And I hope you enjoy Halloween. We'll see you next time. Bye.